Tensions are rising over North Korea's unilateral demand for a pay raise at the joint Kaesong Industrial Complex. The South Korean government is calling for a wage freeze until an inter-Korean agreement is reached, warning of legal measures against companies that disregard this order. Our Hwang sung reports. In a statement on Thursday in Seoul, the Unification Ministry asked for a minimum wage freeze for North Korean workers until a deal is reached between the two Koreas. The ministry warned that companies ignoring the freeze could face administrative and legal measures under the Inter-Korean Exchange and Cooperation Act. The statement comes just over a week before payday for the workers starts on April 10th. Last month, North Korea demanded a unilateral pay raise and revision of 13 regulations, including scrapping the current salary cap of 5 percent. South Korea says these issues must be settled through government-level talks. The wage tussle is raising concerns that another unilateral shutdown of the complex could follow. But experts say Pyongyang will refrain from repeating the closure it initiated two years ago. If the Kaesong Industrial Complex closes again, it will be hard to turn inter-Korean relations around. So it's highly likely that North Korea will use it as a means to intimidate and pressure South Korea. The Kaesong Industrial Complex, where more than 54-thousand North Koreans work at 124 South Korean companies, is the last remaining form of inter-Korean cooperation. A high-ranking South Korean official said that the best way to improve the management of the joint business park is to open it up to more foreign companies. Now, both sides agreed to that measure nearly two years ago, but little progress has been made so far. Hwang Sang-hee, Arirang News.